In this video, we'll be doing a primality and factorization method, uh, which is basically a trial division method. But again, it's not a fully trial division method. It comes from the sieve of Wittgenstein's. Now, to do this method, let me to select an integer n. So choose an integer n that we wish to find either the factorization for this integer n or we want to check whether this integer n is a prime or not. And let's consider n as grade 1. So these are the two objectives. Either we check that this is a prime. So in that case, its only factors would be 1 and n. So these are the only positive factors corresponding to this. And if we can uh, factorize this, then of course we must want to uh, find some d that divides n and then we can find of course a d dash also such that n can be written as d into d dash and these d is also strictly greater than 1 this is strictly less than n and similarly d dash is also strictly less than n and strictly greater than 1. So these two are the objective and as we know that in the public crypto system finding a prime large prime or doing a factorization corresponding to a prime is the uh, is the hard problem and we do not have the efficient algorithms to do that but in my this particular video as i've said that i'm doing this trial division and in my coming up videos also i'll be doing some more primality and factorization methods so that you can see that they are uh, they are quite efficient but again if you choose the large prime such as hundreds of digit the computation time which is required is is more and hence the uh, public crypto system works now for this particular one let n has a non trivial factor n has non trivial factor so when i say that n has non trivial factor let me to write n as some a into b these are the factor and a is strictly greater than 1 and b is also strictly greater than 1 and without loss of generality we just may assume that a is less than or equal to uh, b so this is we can assume and a and b are factors of these are factors of n as a is less than or equal to b multiply by a on both side we get a square is less than a b but a b we know that this is already n so a should be less than or equal to root of n this means one of the factor must be less than or under root n and if this a is prime so we just considering that if a is prime then this a must be less than or equal to n otherwise a will also have a prime factorization of something like this and we can find so we say there exists a p which is the prime factor now i'm just using the notation p such that p is less than or equal to under root of n so we try looking so that is why the name is trial division so at least one of the prime factors should be less than or equal to root n but again if n tends to be very large so even this condition is you know it's not very much computationally efficient but for small integers uh, we can use this trial version let us take few examples so here is the first question and this i want to check 509 is a prime or not so if from here we can say that this is uh, we are doing a primality testing now we can see that 509 if i just take under root of this this lies between 22 and 23 so we can take the square of 22 and 23 and we find that under root of 509 is something 22 point something which means uh, we must try we must try dividing we must try dividing 509 uh from the primes from the primes less than or equal to under root of 509 and which are we can see now these are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19 now these are the only primes which are less than or equal to 22 and this satisfy this condition and we also notice that none of above none of above serves as a divisor as a divisor of 509 so from here we can conclude this implies that 509 is a prime but again uh, this is why i said that this is time consuming because we need to check it again uh, manually that if this number is divisible by 2 or not for 2 it is simple for for 2 to 7 you can straight away use the divisibility test like a number has to be even if it is divisible by 2 for 3 
the sum of the digit should be divisible by 3 for 5 the last digit should be either 5 or 0 and similarly you can use the divisibility test for the remaining numbers if not then you can simply try by dividing and we find that none of the above serve as a divisor hence 509 is a prime so this is the first primality test that we can uh, look up but uh, again this is time consuming so now in this example we want to check 2093 is a prime or not and if not then we want to find its prime factorization so in the similar way as i've done in the previous one 2093 take the under root and we find that this lies between 45 and 46 so root of 2093 is approximately 45 point something so we need to check the all the primes which are less than or equal to 45 and these are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 and 43 so by trial we just start dividing from the first few integers which are prime but we see that 2 uh, is not dividing this number because this is odd 2093 is odd similarly you can check for 3 uh, 9 plus 3 that is 12 plus 2 14 so it is not divisible by 3 it is also not divisible by 5 because the last digit is 3 but it is divisible by 7 so we notice that by doing trial 2093 this is 7 into 299 so we already got one uh, factor so certainly this is not prime we can say that this is not prime we got two factors which are strictly greater than one and strictly less than the number which is given to us now uh, again for 299 you can again try the same thing take the under root of 299 and we know that this is lying between 17 and 18 so for this integer what are the prime list for which i have to check these primes are uh, less than or equal to 17 that is 2 3 5 7 11 13 and 17 and now again when i divide we get this is 7 into 299 when i divide i'll see that it is divisible by 13 so 13 is in this list and then the remaining number is 23 but we see that 23 is uh, a prime so because it is a small number we know uh, if you don't know then you can repeat this process that we did so this is the prime factorization for 2093 Let's take one more example n is equal to 401 is a prime or not and we can note that 401 under root this is approximately 20.02 this means I must need to check all the primes uh, so check all primes which are less than or equal to 20 and these are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19 and we notice that uh, none of above none of above divide 401 so this means we can conclude that 401 is prime so this way this trial method works for checking the primality as well as finding the factorization and this is what is we get it from sieve of ethiosis that we start considering all multiples of the initial such as twice of p then we take thrice of p then we take four times p then we take five times p and so on keep on striking those element which comes like in the multiples of 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so we left with the prime p which is less than or equal to n the remaining number which are not appearing as a multiple of these numbers they are primes and those which appear as a multiple they are called as a composite number say for example just for few first 10 numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and suppose i just first consider this number 2 now 4 is a multiple of 2 6 is a multiple of 2 8 is a multiple of 2 10 is a multiple of 2 so 3 is not strike from the previous one so this is the first uh, first prime is 2 and the next prime is 3 then we start considering the multiple of 3 and so you can see that 9 is striked off because it's 3 times p and we continue doing like this. I have explained the sieve of enthesis in my other video. You can see that in the description. So this is how our trial method works. And before I move to my next video, just a few remarks. Trial division is good for searching small factors. But often in cryptographic problems, we use the product of large prime. And there we require n, which is a product of two large prime. Generally, these p and q primes, they are 100 digits long. 
Prime number theorem says that there is approximately 4 into 10 to the power 97 primes of 100 digit. So if you are doing it by trial that whether it is a prime or not and we are trying to uh, take a divisor uh, P such that it is less than or equal to root N and this is what we are trying to check whether this is a prime or not this N. So this will take long time. And if a computer can do say for example 10 to the power 10 divisions per second so 10 to the power 97 trial division because we can see that this is 10 to the power 97 primes of 100 digit exist so 10 to the power 97 trials will take 10 to the power 87 seconds which is approximately 3 into 10 to the power 79 years so that is why we consider that this rsa setup which is based of this type n is equal to the product of two large primes and this p and q are not uh, informed rather n is given as a public uh, information so we do not know what is p and q corresponding to this n that means it also involves a factorization process so that makes rsa system secure